Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I have got this. It is an infinite power generation source. What does it do? Well, you see, there is tree sap that is acquired through these um, orboreal extractors, arboreal, and then that is sent through blue ducts to a fractioning still, which is then going, or the oil from the fractioning still then goes to this compression dynamo but also the steam dynamo here, and then it is also being cooled down by water. So it is all sustainable, easy to maintain here. You only need to set it up once, and then you get a lot of power. So I've got two machines running, just for example, and then I got an energy cell here. So I guess I will show you how to make these things. So what you're going to need are these arboreal extractors, some fluid ducts. These are opaque ones. You don't need these. You just need these fluid ducts. These are the cheapest ones to make and they work just about the same. A fractioning still. A steam dynamo. A compression dynamo. And this aqueous accumulator. And then obviously some water. And then also you will want to put in some of these leadstone flux ducts here too. So I'm actually going to go fairly simple with this. It's not that hard to make actually so... I've got all the stuff that I need here, so I'm just going to grab myself a spruce sapling. And do I have the... yep, I do. And then flu ducts. Alright, cool. So, first thing you're going to want to do, place your spruce sapling. And then, to speed it up, we're going to get some bone meal on here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these extractors here. So, one, two three four and then I'm just simply that was close and then I'm just simply going to dig this area out just like this I'm actually gonna do a little bit more of it over here just so it's a little bit easier to work with and then on the inside for configuration we have this set as an input we're actually gonna to want to put this as an output so just go to each one of these select it as an output it's just one click that was also really close and then once those are all set to output or orange on the bottom, you're going to put these fluid ducts down into it. Just like that. And then I'm actually going to dig one area out here and place one up. And you can see automatically right now, just from putting in the ducts here, you can see that there is some rosin in here. So, <clears throat> the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to place up a fractioning still right here. So I'm going to put my fractioning still right here. This fractioning still will fill up with res oh, sorry, resin, not rosin. Rosin's the um, material that you get when you make this. So, we're going to get rosin then. So, now that you have this thing here, what you can do is set this, because if you look from it, this is the top, bottom, and then these are the sides. I'm going to set this side to be an automatic output, so it's going to be the orange one. Whoops, it's going to be an orange one right here. So this will go to the side over here. And as you can see, it's indicated by an orange. And I'm going to have that go into the steam dynamo right here. And then I'm also going to have a compression dynamo right over here. Now these aren't connected to anything yet. But just because we can, I'm going to connect these together here because once the um, tree oil accumulates here, it will go into this compression dynamo and that's just going to be very helpful. So definitely going to want that. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a pit for the water. So I'm going to put two fluid ducts here that go into the compression dynamo and the steam dynamo. And I'm going to have one that goes over this way. And this will go into the aqueous accumulator, which I'm just going to put that down right here. And then I'm going to make just an infinite water source here. So just these three need to be filled in here. And that will automatically start filling up with water. So once it's delivered all the water to its area, it will start filling itself up with water. And then it gets full. So right there. So then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a leadstone flux duct and I'm going to connect these up so that they are all powered. And once those are powered, you can see that we've got some resin in here. 
we've got nothing in here nothing in here there's no tomfoolery here this is all infinite energy i'm going to grab one coal and then i'm going to place it into the steam dynamo and that will start ticking off the rf here that's going to start filling up this um fractioning still which will start cooking our resin into rosin and then that will distribute it to the steam dynamo and then I'm actually going to change this because you can see that this is yellow. I'm actually going to change this to an output here. And you can see just in there that is orange. So then that will then produce tree oil. And this tree oil will then go into this compression dynamo. As you can see, um, if we look, it should show tree oil somewhere. I don't know. But tree oil can go into this compression dynamo and then it will cook it up into energy. And just like that, you have successfully created infinite energy, pretty much. So this will continue on and on for as long as time goes. Your rosin will be produced. Your rosin will be thrown in here. It'll start making RF. It'll produce tree oil. Your tree oil will go into here. It'll start producing RF. And then, just because you can, why not make a little thing up here just to store your energy or your excess energy? So we're just going to put an energy cell here and that'll start filling up with our energy. So that is how you make the um, little infinite energy generator here. I will also mention that you can add as many trees as you want to this thing. So if you want to put, um, say, I don't know, five trees on this, it'll still work. You'll probably get more resin out of it. But I should also mention that each tree has a different amount of resin that it leaks out of so spruce happens to have the most resin that leaks out of it and i want to say that birch has the least i'm not for sure on that but the spruce tree if you have a spruce sapling that works perfectly if you have oak that should work but spruce is the best tree to use for this thing and as you can see just in a little bit of time we have almost a hundred thousand rf so that is how you make infinite energy in thermal expansion. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I hope to see all of you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great day.